Hey guys, it's Ben from Design3 here. I'm here with Stefano, CTO, and Natan, Motion Capture Director at Mixamo. So what kind of services does Mixamo offer to uh, game developers? So to game developers, what we try to do is provide uh, uh, character animation. Uh, so we provide both customizable characters and customizable animations for them. Um, and uh, in a couple of months, we will offer also a service for automatically rigging uh, the characters. So we're just trying to democratize uh, the whole process of character animation, make it much easier for people that have great ideas and maybe great programming skills to make games. So what is a typical day of work like for you? What do you do every day? Well, um, most days, uh, well, what you saw today, you know, um, got to have all kinds of different people. I mean, you know, Mixmo doesn't, we're not prejudiced against any types of motions, and people ask for all kinds of stuff. So, um, uh, basic day, you know, I come in, get the suit set up, meet my performer, whether it's kung fu, uh, stunts, um, basic, like, most general motions, um, military, all kinds of stuff. Anything you can think of. Uh, just have somebody come in, and then we go go through a day of motion capture. You know. Cool. This is kind of a little follow up to that. Like, how do you find your uh, motion, like actors, like performance actors? Um, you know, you have to start somewhere. It's the hardest thing is just getting into like a group of performers. Um, and you know, there's Craigslist. There's different staffing agencies that we go through. Um, but the best way is once you find someone who's good at something, like someone who's um, an athlete, a good, you know, good at martial arts, or someone who is, you know, involved, has been involved in military or police work, they all have friends. So you find out who's good. If they're good, then they'll know other people who are good. And getting into those little uh, pockets of performers has been the best way for me. So how do you go about starting and planning a new animation sequence you're going to do? Um, well, it just depends if it's a client. Uh, basically, we want to get as much information from the client as possible, you know. Um, you need to know if they're all going to blend into standard idle poses. Um, you need to know, you want as much detail on the motions as possible. Uh, people tend to be very general because they, they know what they want in their mind, but they won't tell you in detail what they want. So you get as much detail, then you figure out if you need props, you figure out if you need scaffolding or, you know, environments um, for people to interact with. And then you got to get the best performance that you can for the job. Um, and basically just planning, planning, planning. If you get the good performer, if you get everything uh, in order before the shoot, then everything will usually come out really well. And in terms of uh, motion models, we decide what are the parameters that are most relevant for the animation. So if we say it's a uh, uh, running, then we can have different style, different type of leaning, different speed. And so we try to abstract what parameters the user would like to tweak. Uh, of, those, of this animation because at the end of the day uh, uh, Mixamo is providing a high level basically uh, character, uh, customization of the animation so we need to make those decisions for them based on what is important for that specific performance. Right. Cool, so uh, what, kind, what software packages and programs do you guys use the most here? Uh, I think we are using pretty much everything that moves uh, <laughs> so we are using Motion Builder for the capture, we are also using Maya and 3ds Max uh, to test uh, uh, our our pipelines, we have basically have every single software on earth that does 3D uh, modeling, and also several game engines because we need to test to make sure that our animation they work perfectly across all of them. But for internal use, I think we have mostly uh, a motion builder and, and Maya House, and on top of that, we develop of course a lot of proprietary softwares, a lot of proprietary plugins. Um, and, and, uh, and code that we use internally and that we use also to put on the website. What advice would you give to people who want to get started in animation or motion capture? So if, if, uh, if someone wants to start from the artistic standpoint and, and become like an animator, uh, my advice would be uh, to spend a little bit of time at the beginning in understanding like the math behind the animation and how you know how bones move and how these can drag the skin uh, of a mesh and, and so on. Like try to have a little bit of mathematical basis for how uh, things are, are done under the hood because that will allow I think an animator to learn much faster and to really have like a more high level vision of what he's doing. Uh, and in some cases come up with very smart ideas about how to animate things faster or better. Do you have any advice for people? Yeah, definitely second that. I mean, if you know how to um, 
know about the mathematical side, know the back the background of the program, scripting, you know, a little bit of programming language, those things go a long way in your speed and your ability as an animator. Um, also just be dedicated, you know, just reach out and be as good as you can be. Don't worry about getting a job so much as just, you know, be make your animations to the point that you're you're impressing yourself, you know, and be hard to impress. Right. And if you had to sum up animation slash motion capture in just one word, what would that word be? Fun. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Good choices, both. <laughs> I mean, to me, the animation is kind of the art of taking an animated object, right, and, and give kind of life. So it has a little bit of the flavor that, you know, God must have had uh, yeah. back in the days. <laughs> Pretty thanks a lot. Yeah. All right, well, thanks a lot for your time, guys. It's been great talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.